not as bad as it was in my last video. But here's some more dead fish floating in our water. Um, this is becoming more and more down here in Port Charlotte. It sucks. Our water quality is crap. Like I told you, our crabs are dying. I've showed you the videos of all our crabs dead under the rocks. Our fish are dying. It just sucks, man. You know, we have a county that doesn't care about the water quality here when that should be our most important responsibility. Um, we do have fresh water canals here along with our brackish water canals um, pretty soon we're gonna have to be pulling our food out of these canals as water is no good bro um, so that sucks but I'll keep trying to raise awareness like I've said many times I've called the EPA I've called every federal organization I can think of I've called all our state organizations Nobody cares. Nobody takes a, a nobody's word like mine and comes out and does anything. Um, we have ordered certain test strips to test for certain things in the water. We're going to do some testing ourselves. Um, I don't have the kind of money I need for the actual uh, water quality test that I would like to take. But I have ordered tests for certain things like fecal matter and certain... Uh, um, micros in the water that shouldn't be in the water from either spills that we've had here from our uh, electrical plants and our treatment plants and we've had so many fecal matter sewage line busts in our county it's not even funny and they never do anything about it except for dredge the canal um, that's why we have all these toxic plumes here look at all this chemical just floating on top of it I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera, but there's just a ton of chemical the glare in the water. Um, see all those bubbles on top of the water? All that chemical just nastiness floating up there. Move, Carol. Move, baby girl. the white streaks in the water those are chemical trails in our water it's everywhere you look in the water you see all the bubbling and the um, of this these chemicals bubble up in the water um, nobody cares nobody gives a shit that's like a film I wish you could see it from my eye point of view because there's it's it's a film that's physically on top of the water it's that white film sucks ah look there you go you can see that white film on top of the water right there there you go it's gross if you put a stick in there it moves you know that's what all of our water looks like in port charlotte florida all of this right here these white streaks are all throughout all of this water right here just massive massive pools of it um Another video, everybody keeps telling me post videos and stop talking about it, so I'm going to start taking videos of everything I do. I've just ordered a good body cam, so I'm just going to start wearing a body cam everywhere I go so you all can see what's actually happening and the things that we're doing. Oh, see, you just watched me walk around to the other... So. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle, these turtles are assholes. If you fish out here, they steal your bait. These turtles are assholes. That specific turtle right there is the biggest asshole. He's out here every day, and it doesn't matter what you're doing, the moment you throw your bait in, that son of a bitch is taking it off your line. A little shit. We normally have some gators out here, but somebody poached two of them, so we took the girl and put her somewhere she could be safe. Um, Y'all have seen the videos of that, I'm sure, if you if you actually look at my channel.
Now, down here, where you're going to the egress of the canal, you probably can't see to the bottom of that water like I can. Because there's a heck of a glare out here right now, but there's a sludge and a gunk on the bottom of the when you if you get down there and you scoop that gunk up the smell the but first of all it just bubbles up just blah, 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 in the water and the smell from that gunk when you if you get a shovel and you scoop that out right now it smells like shit and it looks like shit okay and it's got it's fibrous it's a weird type of fibrous it's not it's not the dirt it's it's a weird, weird fibrous material. And um, about a few years ago, they put all these signs up in our waterways. Um, there was an Aaron waterway we have here. It's called the Aaron waterway that goes into a lot of our different waterways here. And um, there was a fecal matter leak of like 800 billion gallons of fecal matter. The... Um, there was people dying by the pond. This one lady, she was 52 years old and she had to have an entire aortic um, heart revalve replacement, which is not really heard of before all the, you know, Fauci Alchi stuff. And um, all of a sudden these algae plumes, these algic plumes started popping up in the water here, like huge, massive algic plumes, bigger than a person. Like as big around as like, the, some of them are big around that damn Chinese balloon we just shot down. Um, and they're toxic. They're extremely toxic, and they turn the water toxic. Okay, and then, I don't know if y'all noticed on my live last night, but um, some kids were coming up on my property, and they were releasing um, non-indigenous species of reptiles into our property. And I was like, no, you can't do that. The reason for that is, is... I'm gonna walk back over here. There's about five or six massive iguanas just on the side of the thing here. Well, they eat our mangroves, among other things. Well, if you know anything about um, marine biology, our mangroves are what filters our freaking water. Okay, so these people brought these Brazilian pepper trees down here and all these iguanas, an invasive species, and they have absolutely destroyed our mangroves. Our mangroves are gone. We don't have a good team here. I would love, I've, I've applied and I've spoken with county members here. I told them, I said, look, I don't need to make a million dollars. I said, but you give me the equipment and you give me a boat and you give me a salary and I will clean these waterways. I'll get out here myself and I'll find people to get out here with me and I'll clean these waterways. Okay, because as we're coming up on food shortages and stuff like that, we need these waterways. Um, Florida is one of the greatest resources of water and fresh water around. Um, plus we have so many different species of fish and in this, in this county alone, we have over 2000 variety of fish and marine life. Okay. Plus we have stingrays, manta rays, dolphins, porpoise, hundreds and hundreds of different, um, species of sharks. Um, everywhere out here, there's sharks in the canals. You can come up here on any um, evening with a spotlight and see six or seven sharks having a rampage on something in the canals here, you know? When you hear these big thrashing noises at night from your homes and the water in the canals, it's normally a shark that's tearing the shit out of something. Um, but people don't realize what's going on. People get freaked out and think somebody's coming at them from the water. Karen, stop, man. Don't worry about that dog. Don't worry about that puppy. Um, but anyway, back to our waterways. We're also a county, it's one of the only counties that I've been able to find. We have a treaty, um, a contract with two other counties to dump their treated fecal matter into our waterways. Okay, I've been out to the treatment plant. They've got it all fenced off within a quarter mile of it, so you can't get out and look at the pipe. But if you do some activist shit and you get in there and you fucking look at it, you can actually see floaters coming out of this pipe. It's minimally treated, just like you don't want to know what they do to your water system. You don't want to know what you're drinking out of a tap. 
You know what I mean? The only way I drink out of a tap at home is if I use my life straw or something else. Because that shit's fucking gross. I'd rather drink out of the ponds around here. You don't want it to... They take bags and, of muratic acid. If there's a dead animal and a um, catch, they just take bags of muratic acid and they fucking pour it in there. And the bones and everything just dissolve into your water. That's... That's awesome, bro. Um, the crazy things they do at water treatment plants that they, they flush down in our water supply. And with all these woke people, a lot of people aren't thinking about that. That's an easy way. You get a job at a water treatment plant, that's an easy way to affect an entire county of people, an entire city of people, you know what I mean? Because normally you run off one or two water treatment plants for an entire county and city a lot of times. So all you have to do is dump a couple bags of something in that water and boom. So what we should be doing is we should be fortifying right now in America, we should be fortifying our borders, we should be fortifying our water treatment plants, our food processing plants, we should be fortifying our electric plants, we should have way more um, looking into like what the federal agencies should be doing right now is keeping an eye on the fact that we've had more and the largest um, informational attacks from China right now on our grid, on our informational grid. Um, we've been, we've had the largest hacks that America's ever seen from China just recently. It was just reported by, uh, I'll have to look that back up. I'll talk about that on my live tonight. But they've reported that we've had more attacks as of now. Um, for some reason, my live from last night isn't posting. I guess YouTube's not happy with it. It's still in the queue for 12 hours now, saying it's pending on posting. So I guess YouTube didn't like a lot of what we were talking about since we talked about something that the White House is trying to shut us up about. Um, so... And I'll keep out here fighting for you guys. I love you guys. I hope you're blessed. Um, I'm hoping you're, hoping you're having a good day today. Um, we're out here doing a little flag waving today and just chilling out because I've been going non-stop, climbing trees by myself, loading everything, all of it by myself for months now. And because nobody wants to work. Um, why would they want to come work for me when they can go work at Wawa or work at fucking McDonald's? and make $200 for the day. Because minimum wage, federal minimum wage is 15 bucks an hour right now. So which means if you go in on a management position, they have to pay you more than that. You know, like $20, $25 an hour. If you're going into skilled labor, now they're really gonna have to pay you more, like 40, 50 bucks an hour. You know what I mean? So it, it's just up and up. Um, they're making it really hard for small businesses to hold people without paying them under the table. And then with this whole new, thing that was just passed that's going to be within 30 days well within 30 days of when it was passed Thursday um now straight white men are the enemy we can't get anything from the government anymore are you fucking kidding me I well, can't get anything anyway I don't know where this um white privilege is I don't know where this white privilege is um because I've, I've been turned down for any type of help I've ever tried to get so I, I just don't even try you know it's not worth it I'd rather get out here and work as hard as I can and make what I can. Uh, as long as I can pay my bills and take care of my dog, I'm happy. I don't really need a lot more than that. Um, the new battle axes will be ready tomorrow, guys, and the throwing knives, so bam, bam, bam. Um, I'm going to start putting some easy ways to train and keep yourself regulated. Um, easy ways to train with your fellow citizens in your communities, in your neighborhoods. Um, stuff like that so I'm gonna create a whole nother channel specifically for that though. Um, this that'll be strictly about we might even do um, if YouTube will allow it I don't get banned for it again we'll do a uh, live animal slaughter once I want to say twice a month but that's a lot um, there's a lot involved in going out with my dog and getting the hogs and stuff like that and being able to slaughter the meat in an area where it's not going to spoil before I can get it to a freezer um, because if I kill it I don't waste that meat 
or we use the um, a lot of times whatever's left over from the hog we'll use that meat and those bones for training purposes because that's if you can break a hog leg you can break a human arm easily um, especially some of these hogs we got out here in Florida <laughs> I mean we got a um, 315 pounder we call him Rex he's been out here for years been terrorizing people's animals he kills dogs and all kinds of shit we got him last year and he was a freaking beast bro um, I don't know why YouTube won't let us put hunting videos on here um, we're using black powder, you know, it's the, to me it's the best way to hunt, black powder or bow and arrow. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get some more content out here. Uh, I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a very safe day. Uh, Lord, will you just place kindness and love and understanding and application and get, tell people where their place is, Lord, whether they're your own your epistles, whether they're your pastors, whether you're warriors, whether they're whatever their, their place in life is for these trials that we're going through, Lord, give this to all of the people out there. We love you. Thank you, Father. We're sorry for the sins that we commit. We ask you to forgive us. In Jesus' name, we love you so very much. All praise in your name. All glory to you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, guys. Be safe.